Highlights of Paris. Bonjour and welcome to the famous city of Paris. Today we will see some of the sights and hear about a few events that make this such a remarkable city. Paris is located on the continent of Europe. You will find it in the top part of the country of France, the northern part. Paris is the capital of France. More than two million people live there. Paris is quite an old city. It is much more than 2,000 years old. There is a river that runs through the city. It is called the Seine. It is an important river because it helped to move both goods and people around long before there were any roads. This river, the Seine, splits Paris into two parts. These parts are called the left bank and the right bank. Our tour will take us along the left bank of the Seine, crossing over the river, returning back on the right bank. Let's start with one of the most famous landmarks in the world, the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower is about 125 years old. It was built for the World's Fair. It was the tallest tower of its time and stands 984 feet tall. The man who designed the tower was named Gustav Eiffel and the tower was named after him. Believe it or not, the tower was supposed to be torn down after the fair. It was saved so that it could become a signal tower. It needed 2,500,000 rivets and requires 40 tons of paint each time it is painted. We are now going to cross over the Seine. First, we arrive on the Ile de la Cité, an island on the Seine. There you will find the very grand Notre Dame Cathedral. It dates back to the 1100s and took almost 200 years to build. It is called a Gothic Cathedral, which means that it is the design of the building. The pointed arch over the front doors is one feature that makes Notre Dame a Gothic Cathedral. At the back of the building is a row of curved arches that help to hold up the building. They are called flying buttresses. They too are Gothic. Notre Dame is also known for its amazing stained glass rose windows. Many people enjoy the gargoyle sculptures carved on the building. History was made here a few times. First, Napoleon crowned himself emperor here. Another important ceremony took place when Joan of Arc was made a saint here. That is called being canonized. Thousands of people visit Notre Dame every day. Back on the river again, we come to the Place de la Concorde, an open square with golden fountains and a tall tower. This 75-foot tall tower is called an obelisk. It was a gift from the country of Egypt to France. It is 3,300 years old. Just past the Concorde Square sits two buildings that would be hard to miss. They are the Grand Palais and the Petit Palais, or the Large Palace and the Small Palace. The Grand Palais is mostly made of glass and metal. It took more steel posts to build than the Eiffel Tower. Both palaces were built for the World Fair more than a hundred years ago and are now used to display art. Just behind these buildings runs the Grand Boulevard called the Champs-Élysées. At the end of this famous street lies the dramatic Arc de Triomphe. It was built by Napoleon to celebrate 30 or so of the battles that he had won. If you climb to the top, you get a great view of the city and also of the 12 streets that branch out from the arch, making a star shape. If you follow this road out of the city, it will take you to the last royal palace in France, called the Palais at Versailles. 
It was built by King Louis XIV, the Sun King, more than 300 years ago. This palace is now Europe's largest. It took 50 years and 40,000 workers to build Versailles. The palace contains 700 rooms, 67 staircases and 2,153 windows. Often 6,000 people lived here at one time. The gardens were just as important to King Louis and it took 40 years to make them perfect. At the time of the French Revolution, the king and queen were arrested at Versailles. We hope you have enjoyed your visit to Paris and that you now know more about this exciting city. Au revoir!